creature of a whole other uh, uh, signature, electrical signature. Um, this is millimeter waves, and that's the important part. Millimeter wave waves are very, very, very tiny. We have not had millimeter wave technology other than when you are going through at an airport, the TSA uh, uh, is is a millimeter wave technology. And as we now okay, know, I'm going to break this down for you, and I'm going to leave the link below because it's very important that you watch this. Um, also, another link with uh, Harold Crotz who talks about black goo and all the different. Um, technologies that are out that are uh, empathetic that are life forms actually so what I'm going to say is I'll leave the link below and what she's pretty much saying is the military US military is working on a 5G dome which is like a Tesla uh, mixed with alien gray technology they're creating this giant weapon it's like the eye in the sky, which is going to be able to see everything, like walking through a TSA scanner at the airport. In other words, you'll be naked. Every everything on the earth and in space will be naked. And they're putting all these metals in the sky, and we're breathing them in, and um, it's transhumanism too. I, I don't really understand too much about that, but I understand some of this stuff has to do with skater waves and mind control and a whole bunch of other things but this is uh, interesting and um, they can already see like in our homes with you know smart meters they, they can go like okay let's look in this home and they can remote control into it but this is going to be different this is going to be something that they can actually have everything see through at one time but just remember that if you're a Christian the mark of the beast has been implemented already through our air and through other GMOs and other sources, but if you're with Christ, you'll be protected. So don't don't be afraid. Um, I, I get afraid, and then Christ always comforts me and lets me know. Also, that He will be uh, returning really soon. We have around 11 years, 12 years, but this year is ending, so we have about 11 years at the most that He's going to come come back and destroy all these evil people that have done this to us and and also know that he's only holding off on destroying them because he's trying to get more people saved this stuff is so nasty that God is going to have to destroy the entire earth because it's it's, it's they're, they're, they have actually changed everything which can never change back it's it's being completely changed it's being made to put demons and dark entities into our bodies. They're, they're, they're shifting things around. Anyway, anyways, he's coming back really soon and he's going to, he's just holding off because he's trying to get as many people saved as possible because he loves the human race and he wants people to be okay. He, he wants people to find him first because once this is over, it's too late. You either find him now while you have a chance or you don't and you know, it's, Follow the Ten Commandments, pray daily, have empathy for the world that's suffering, pray for your enemies, pray daily to God, and build a loving relationship with Him, with the Father, in the Son's name, He is the bridge to the Father, ask Him to send you the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Discernment, and you will be fine. God is supernatural, He's all-powerful, He created every universe, He will protect you. He will protect you from the mark of the beast. People are getting cuts and lesions and Morgellons. And I understand now that that's actually the mark of the beast. It has to do with that because the Bible talks about sores that don't heal. And um, my sister went with Christ right away. Her sores, she had Morgellons, really bad Morgellons. Horrible, horrible case of Morgellons. And when she went with Christ, her, her cuts healed up within a day or two. Gone. Gone. Hey, get your life right with Jesus. I'll leave the links below. You need to watch this stuff and know that Christ will be back in anywhere from 11 to 12 years. But I, I, if, if the pre-rapture is true, I believe that could take place anytime within the next minute to the next two, three years.